Hey guys, welcome, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anika, and if you're new here, welcome. If you're not new here, welcome back. Okay, last year, I, I mean, obviously last year, at the beginning of the year, I recorded a video with my 2020 goals, and to be honest, I have not watched this video since I uploaded it and edited it, of course, but I really don't remember any of my goals that I have for 2020 because obviously we were hit by a pandemic and then everyone forgot everything, me included. And now I'm going to watch the video and we are going to, well not we, I'm going to discuss what I actually achieved and what I didn't. I know it's been a long time since I've sat down and filmed a video, but <laughs> I will be filming another sit down video with my 2021 goals and that will be coming out next week also i don't know if you've noticed but i did get a ring light and i got a mic so hopefully the audio is a little bit louder than it was in my previous videos I pulled up the video i'm talking a lot i don't know i'm talking so much the number one thing that i said was that i wanted to eat healthier and i did eat healthier as i'm editing this i realized that the mic was like off or something but anyways i was basically saying how i started a food page because a lot of people told me that i should start a food page and that's why i got motivated to eat healthier i didn't do that i didn't exercise i kind of realized that's a lie because i did work out in quarantine didn't do that either still did not well I won't say I didn't become a morning person because I did have two 8 a.m.s and I did get up every day. I mean, obviously, I had to get up every day. I had to get up every day to go. <laughs> but I don't think that really counts. I started a podcast. I started making content on my Instagram. That, <laughs> I definitely tried new things. It's just to budget. I really yes, I did have a better budget not because i did actually create a budget but because we had a pandemic and i didn't really go anywhere to spend anything the next one was like less screen time i did start out with that and then obviously again a pandemic hit i had no choice but to be on tiktok all the time instagram snapchat just app surfing okay obviously i could not volunteer because again Oh yes, yeah. so um, I will say that my curls have definitely gotten better. I will, of course, insert pictures for everything that I'm talking about. Um, girl, ever since I did dye my hair, I obviously had to start taking care of my hair, and now it's all like one length. And yeah, I'm very happy with my curl pattern right now. And my skincare, like my skin is okay. Okay, so skincare. Um, I definitely did work on my skincare during quarantine. I did work with a lot of skincare brands this year that really allowed me to try out new ingredients that I've never tried out before, which I'm really grateful for. The opportunities, the products, just the connections, and of course, um, being able to develop a skincare routine, a better skincare routine, because right now your girl is kind of glowing. I did end up getting two i got two when the school year started and then at the end of the school year which was like december i was offered a third one so it's just making me girl i talk a lot <laughs> i need to chop chop all right so i did start to take youtube seriously at the beginning of the year and then of course pandemic hit i had no motivation i don't think anyone had any motivation to do anything so of course i wasn't going to do something i wasn't going to put out videos if i wasn't feeling it i'm not going to put it out just to put it out i'm that's not me if i'm not happy with it i'm not going to put it out i didn't upload till like may and then i was very consistent and then school we're not even going to talk about school okay we're, we're not even going to talk about school but i'm back i'm back baby Okay, obviously couldn't travel. We all know the elephant in the room. Not in my room. Um, 
it's like 50 50 on that sometimes i do dress up really nice sometimes i don't it just depends on how i'm feeling but with me being in school now and meeting new people it's i have to give them a good first impression so i always i've been put I'm very well put together in college i have been i've been looking yeah <laughs> the photogenic part i didn't really take pictures this year again it was i do think i did work smarter not harder this year but i mean with the pandemic going on i did the best that i could because i was taking chemistry and anatomy and some other classes i was pretty much taking 18 credit hours i do not recommend i do not especially if you're in a pandemic didn't get a job didn't have money to spoil myself i did spoil my family now that that's over with want to see my rent <laughs> now that that's over with over with <sighs> now that that's over with want to see my renegade um if you've made it to the end of the video thank you but real quick i do want to say that obviously first of all wait let me just say that me watching this video right now i'm cringing on the inside because i don't know i, I don't know uh, i can i don't know i just don't i feel like i feel like well not i feel like i know that the person that i just watched i'm not the same person that I just watched. 2020 was a year that was very hard. There were many hardships, a lot of devastation. It was just a lot going on. And I did a specific episode on what I've learned in quarantine. If you're interested in that, you can definitely go check it out. You know, I'm not gonna hold you at gunpoint and tell you to listen to it unless. Thank you guys so much for all of the love and the support that I've received in 2020, whether it was for my Instagram, my YouTube, my podcast. I've just been so overwhelmed by support and love because it's amazing that people actually want to watch my videos and people actually support the content that I create. I forgot to mention this in the YouTube, take YouTube seriously section of the video. But at the beginning of the year, I had 235 subscribers and I currently have 520 subscribers. It's not a lot of growth, but it is some sort of growth and I'm very grateful for having growth. Um, if you or anyone lost a loved one during you know, the whole fiasco of 2020, either you lost them by COVID or you just lost them, my heart really goes out to you. And I hope that even throughout your loss or anything that anything else that you've experienced that you did find something good within the year. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Peace.